Pat said it, there was a point this offseason where he said, we had a conversation with you, he said you're going to be the, the guy, you know, going into spring camp. You'll be the, the QB1. I mean, after all the time you've kind of waited, you've sat, you know, spent the last couple of years sort of waiting for that opportunity. How was it to hear that from him and, and uh, you know, know that kind of going into spring camp that you're that guy? Yeah, you know, it means everything. Um, to have a coach have confidence in you and believe in you uh, means a lot. Definitely allows me to go out there and just play football um, and try and be the best that I can be. Um, allows me to just try and be the best team guy I can be and make sure we're going in the right direction. How do you approach this year differently than you know, past years? You know, you're the guy that's going to be one to start things off and you know, get, that, get to kind of hold that place. That's got to be a different kind of a challenge. It's definitely a different challenge, but it's the same mindset. I always had the same mindset. I, I wanted to play and I wanted to win, and now I'm in an opportunity to play and still want to win. So I'm um, gonna work as hard as I can, make sure that we get we get wins this year. How are you? Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I was gonna say, how are you and Christian, uh, you know, working together, you know, working to try to help each other improve? You know, in a lot of college sports, you see, you know, one guy gets a starter with another guy that are around the same age. They'll go hit the transfer portal, try to find different answer and it won't work, but it seems like you two will see me lockstep with each other. Yeah, I mean, Christian's a good quarterback. He's a, I, I love you know, having him next to me. I can definitely learn from him, and I think you know, I think it's a good relationship to allow us to compete and do better. And what was your reaction to the new offensive coordinator when you saw the type of style? Did, were there worries, concern? I mean, and what, did, what do you think of the offense you guys are going to run? Just extremely excited, to be honest. Um, but something the, the speed that we're going to play at, something I'm used to, something I think will play my strengths. Um, and I think um, just seeing today in practice with Coach Bell, it was so much fun and the passion he brings. I'm just excited to keep working with him this, this, uh, during the spring. What was the piece of practice like today? Fast, we were fast. Um, never stop, getting reps, just the way it should be. We're out there working. Um, you see the receivers are going, everybody's going, linemen's moving, getting set. Um, we're, we're, gonna, we're getting after this spring. That first time you talked to, to Cade, you know, when you had a real conversation with him after he got hired, I mean, what were your impressions of him as, you know, as a person, as a coach, and, and of the offense? He's hungry. He's hungry. He wants to win. And I, I got that. That was the first impression I got from him. He, he, he's coming in here to make sure that we get wins this year and that we are going up. You know, we're, we're not here to be stagnant and, and fall. Um, I don't know, that's, that was definitely the first impression I got. Uh, he knows what he's doing, and he's confident. One of the things I thought was one of your best attributes last season was your decision making. You could in, in the pocket under pressure, you found different ways to, to, to attack the different parts of, your, of, a, of a formation uh, out of the play. What is what's been your challenge as far as you know, doing that, but now in a faster pace? Is that an advantage you feel like to, to your play style? I definitely think it's an advantage. Um, you know, going faster, I, I think I'm able to process it just as quickly, and so um, just can be able to catch, make the defenses easier to read and, and understand. Are there parts of your game that you'll be able to show into this offense that you weren't before that you're kind of eager to show people? Um, I'm not sure. I'm, I, I, I'm definitely excited for the spring to you know get the reps I'm going to be. Um, I'm, I'm ready to take my game to the next level. I think that's this is the perfect opportunity, and Coach Bell is gonna is the perfect coach. Did you run fast-paced offense in high school? I did. Um, I, I was under Coach Stein, um, who's in Oregon. It is. Um, so he ran a spread, and it was fast. It was fast. Okay. Uh, fast. I mean, uh, um, about, about the same as this. Just high tempo, never never huddled. So. Does it help to have guys like Kanate and Deshaun Kenny back? Guys who played with you started to, uh, and you kind of learned some things. Definitely. I mean, uh, watching these watching those guys today was super exciting. Um, how fast they're picking up the offense. Um, those guys know what they're doing, and they're explosive on the field. Um, they're just um, open receivers everywhere, and, and that's what I'm excited to see this year. Did you get to do any like extra work in the winter, just like throwing around with them in your own time and build more of a connection with, with those guys? Definitely. Um, you know, just during during the off season, we're we we're working outside of here on our own. You know, the whole time, making sure we understood the, the new offense and we knew we had to get a head start to be able to understand and, and roll right through spring. And I'm really proud of those guys and and just really everyone on the offense for showing up and, and getting their work done so we can be ready to go today. Nathan, there are a lot of guys in the quarterback room. How, how well do you guys share ideas and to have so many bodies, how does that dynamic work? Quarterback room, since I've been here, has always been great every single year, and that's no different this year. A um, bunch of really good guys in there, and we all, we're all we all working together and making sure that we know how each other knows what, he's doing, know what we're doing. And, and so uh, I'm definitely really happy with the room that we have. Now you've been in this building after an ACC championship season, gone through that kind of offseason. Now you're coming through an offseason after a three-win season. You know, kind of, you see 
couple of different extremes. What's the, I want to say the vibe, but I mean, what's sort of the, the mood in this building? What's the attitude around this building? Is it the same as it was, you know, after that successful season, or do you sense a different something in the players and coaches? Definitely sense a different, um, a different vibe than last year. Um, there's no room for complacency anymore. Um, we're not here to be average. Last year, I think we, you know, we obviously could have been better, and everybody knows that, and everybody's, everybody feels sick about it. So we're all moving in the right direction now. What is the biggest thing that you look back on you bought last season that you're like, hey, if I get, if I get this thing, if I improve this part of my game, I'm gonna be where I'm gonna be. I want to be. Um, right now, for me, it's just buying into to Coach Bell, making sure that I understand what he wants, and make sure we're on the same page. Because I think as long as we're on the same page, nothing stops. Question or two more. Anything else for Nate? Nate, I mean, what's your relationship like with the running backs and how the system's going to work? How do you see that working out? And how do you think that's in terms of your game, what you're planning so far this offseason? How, how have you been working with the running backs? How's the running back relationship? Yeah, well, yeah, running, working with the running backs, especially in this new offensive system. Uh, you know, Rodney has definitely stepped up in the you know uh, the offseason, make sure he knows what he's doing. Really excited what, what he did today um, when I saw out of him the whole running back room. Um, I could definitely go through all of them, you know, Des Reed and, and uh, you know, the whole the whole room in there is doing a lot of good things. And so uh, I'm definitely excited to see what they're going to be able to do with the pass based offense, hopefully get them more touches than last year. Awesome. Hey, thank you so much. Appreciate it.